Welcome back to another out of spec motoring video. Yes, you can see my breath. Uh, I'm about to take a thousand mile road trip in an EV, but not the Model 3 you are all familiar with. I am actually going to go in the new Kia EV6. That's right, my friend Ahmad just bought one up in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and we are driving it to Dallas, Texas. This is gonna be one of the first, if not the first long-term road trips in an EV6. So I'm really excited to see how it goes and share the journey with you. Uh, he is not here yet. It's just me and my bag standing outside the hotel. We're here at the uh, Chicago Convention Center, just finished the Chicago Auto Show. So far, he left, I think, this morning at 10 degrees, which is, uh, yeah, that's, that's really cold. I'm a very on-the-go person and never make enough time in the morning to just brew a simple cup of coffee. Before Cometeer, I was awful at making coffee. I could never make a cup that was strong enough, and all my cups always tasted watered down. I had to compensate the flavor with extra cream and sugar, but with Cometeer, the flavor is always robust and delicious. It's also both convenient and very high quality coffees, and there's no more settling for convenience over quality. With Cometeer, you definitely get both. I've also had trouble making iced coffee at home, and especially lattes as well. With Cometeer, they make it so easy for me. And it's also very sustainable. The pods are tossable because they are aluminum capsules that can go directly into your recycling bin. Ice coffees at home just got 10 times easier. And tastes just as great too. And for a limited time, Cometeer has a special offer for you. You can get $20 off your first purchase, plus free shipping when you click our link down below. That is 10 free cups of coffee and over 30% off. There he is. <laughs> Alex. Three hours in and I'm so stressed. You're stressed? <laughs> you feeling range anxiety? <laughs> Crazy range anxiety. Everything this is a anxiety. Great color. So this is not like pure white. It's like the. Uh, the pure white is the snow white. Okay. So. All right. Well, we're going to go to get the next. Food. Get food and, and then charge. charge. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Looks good. All right, a thousand miles, here we come. Dallas, here we come. We're on the road, leaving Chicago proper, heading into the burbs. And uh, how are you feeling? You've been up how long? <laughs> 14 hours. 14 hours. Not driving. Yeah. Four hours, five hours driving. Some of that was flying. You had two flights. Shorter than I thought. My first drive out of the dealership. Is so smooth. So smooth. I am about to pull up to my first start or I guess charging stop ever. So now I gotta figure out where this is first. So I couldn't get the app to work, so I just used my card. It says initiating, charge, state of charge 34%, it's charging at 67, <laughs> it's so slow, shows 33 minutes until 80, that's pretty frustrating and slow. My official first charge ever. 72 kilowatts. I'm at 42 percent. Dollar 78 so far. I wish that was a little bit faster. But... All right, so I got about 157 miles. Not as much as I was hoping. Time to go. I have so much shoulder stress right now. <laughs> driving an EV across the country right now. And we did just hit low battery. So we got 10% state of charge. Heading to Hodgkin's Electrify America should be one in the Target parking lot. So that'll be nice. 
the premium version of Electrify America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so we are 9.7 miles away, and we have 22 miles of range left. Yep. So we are we're pushing this thing to the limit. <laughs> this will be fun. I'm trying to regen as much as we can. <laughs> so to take your mind off that, tell me about your qualms. Like, what what is not your favorite thing about the car yet? Um, on top of the mental stress that comes with driving the EV, that's not really the EV's fault. <laughs> um, it's the infrastructure. Number one, uh, a lot of heat-related elements. So I, I guess I just wasn't fully aware of this separate heater core. After I thought about it, it makes complete sense. But turning, using the heater, it does obviously bring the range down, which I guess is pretty normal among EVs. I just wasn't expecting it. Um, but then other aspects that I'm not super happy with are the steering wheel heat is very heavily concentrated at the like 11 and two spot versus the 10, three or nine, six spot. Huh. So where my hand naturally rests, it's not the hottest. It's like kind of hot, but it's all really hot up here. That and then the second complaint I have is the foot heaters are very, very, um, particularly placed your feet have to be in a very particular spot and it's fine when you're accelerating and using your foot to accelerate but when you're on cruise control you barely get any of the air because it's so so it's like optimized for the pedals it's optimized for the pedals not for where your feet would normally sit without being gotcha on the pedals. so that part's a little frustrating um I will but. say passenger side seems about perfect. So as long as Casey drives and you're over here. <laughs> All my feet will be fine. <laughs> yeah. Plus you live in Texas. Texas. Yeah. Will... It'll be a problem about one month of the year. Yeah. So. Um, but other than that, I'm actually pretty happy with the car. Um, so what, what do you love? Like what was something that exceeded expectations? The interior. Um, it looks really nice in pictures. Um, but because of lack of information online, I wasn't really sure what the wind would bring, what the GT line would bring. Every wind review that I saw, a GT line review I saw, had a lot of gloss black. Piano black, I think is what they call it. Mine has none. I have zero piano black. This is great. This is like a... a, a it's like a matte... Aluminum yeah, it's finish. like a matte aluminum. It is plastic, but it's got that matte finish to yeah. it. Yeah, so to, these are all matted, which is amazing. Yep. This is all matted, and I swear in reviews, this was all piano black. So I'm wondering what happened there. And then the other thing I really like is this finish on the dash and on my glove box or my shoulder armrest. Yeah, nice texture to it. Yeah. And yeah. the fit and finish is really good. Like, yeah. significantly better than my 2018 Stinger, so. So this is your first EV. Yes. And you never had a hybrid or anything either? Never, no. All right, so your first electrified product. So yeah, this is interesting because I like the interior a lot of this car, more than the Ionic 5, I think. And I think people know that I love the Ionic 5, but largely that's the exterior looks. And I do like the limited interior with the ambient lighting, like all the top tier stuff, but then you really have to just dish out money for it. So being mid-spec, this is really impressive. Yeah. And the screens look great. And uh, yeah, Android Auto. Yeah, a lot of people complain about the resolution, and maybe just because I'm used to it, this looks fine to me. I'm sure there's higher res ones out there. Yeah. Um, but that is one thing that apparently is going to get updated is the widescreen Android Auto. Yep. I think that's a licensed thing. But, yeah. All right, we are pulling into Target, and chargers are oh, way over in the corner. And we have 6% state of charge, 13 miles on the Gesso meter, and they're all 150s. So, surround camera. That was a terrible turn. Oh, that was like my kind of backing up. <laughs> Kyle always points out that I can't I'm not reverse. used to this technology. <laughs> That's a good quality camera. It is. It is really good quality camera. Nice. All right. Let's see how this goes. Will it work? Yeah, so it's actually kind of cool because you just do this. Yep. And then with this one, you can just do that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, cool. Big old flap there. Okay, so, uh, I'm on my phone now. Let's try this, how a normal Electrify, oh my God, it's so cold. <laughs> Sorry, man. Let's it out. Telluride, nice. <laughs> they waved. <laughs> okay. The Kia wave, it's gotta be a thing, right? <laughs> oh, 
Oops, everything's hard when it's cold. It's yeah, how so thick is that cable feel right now? <laughs> Girthy. <laughs> and then I slide my charger, number one. Yep. And then I just do swipe to charge. This is where, do I need to press this? Um, this is what I was talking about. Does it, does it say, tap your phone? Does your phone have an FC to just... Oh wait. It's too cold to try to figure this out. That's yeah. part of the problem. <laughs> yeah. is I just don't, I don't have it in me to try to figure this out. So this is by kilowatts, which is nice. Yeah, that's how it should be. Firing up, 52 kilowatts. It's very cold out here. 19 degrees. Sitting at just 60 so far, 6% straight of charge. We'll see how this goes. We're gonna go get some food. So we just got our coffees. Uh, yep. Food is not here really. <laughs> Unless you want some peppermint donuts. Uh. <laughs> so the Kia app, at least on this giant phone. Looks a little odd, but. Yeah, so 20%, it says 54 minutes to get to 100. We won't go to 100, because it charges real slow at the top of the pack. We'll go to 80. Yeah, at least 80, something like that. And, cool. Yeah, yeah start those. climbing. You can do like remote charging times and so like when you want it to charge, when you don't want it to charge. Lock, unlock. This is kind of cool, I haven't used this yet. Let's check that out. Oops. Oh, okay, so it sends it to you. Yeah, so basically it just sends you a 360. Oh, like one of every yeah. angle. Which is kind of cool, I guess, for theft and stuff. Yeah, so you can kind of tuck in your car. It's a Kona Electric. Nice, what's it charging at now? Oh shit. 129 kilowatts at 36%. We are climbing slowly. We're gonna go get some Applebee's, I think, because everywhere else is striking out. Some good old American food. Uh, we just hit 90% state of charge on the charger. Mod is moving the car over here. Um, and then we're gonna scarf this down and hit the road. Trying to make it to Sullivan, Missouri tonight, where we have a hotel. Just finished a quick and surprisingly good dinner at <coughs> Applebee's uh, while we waited for the EV6 to keep charging. Uh, <laughs> the dinner took longer than we thought though. So it uh, charged to, I think 95% Imad said. And now he's on the phone with them trying to figure out why it double charged him. It says they delivered 143 kilowatt hours, which is uh, not really possible, especially because no systems were actually running on the EV6. All right, we're on hold with Electrify America, but we have 93% state of charge. We do. And heading to, where's our next stop? Uh, normal Hodgkins. Illinois. No, Normal. Yeah, this we're at Hodgkins. Hodgkins. So we're leaving Hodgkins um, and heading to Normal Illinois. Not abnormal Illinois. Yeah, Normal, the, cap, or the head, capital, the headquarters of Rivian. So maybe capital we'll, of you wanna trade this in? <laughs> no. Not until the, the problem isn't the car, the problem is the infrastructure, <laughs> as Kyle has been saying. Yeah, so you would have the same issue with the R1T. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to solve the problem. All It'll right. give me a bed that I can move stuff with. Yeah, there you go. Just making our way through Hodgkins. I keep forgetting the name of this town. Hodge, Hodgkins. 227 miles on the guessometer, down at 92%. So uh, the range is going up, <laughs> the percentage is going down. If it were Kyle, he would push all the way to Springfield, Illinois and arrive with 0%. But I think we're going to stop in normal Illinois, charge for a bit, and then continue to East St. Louis. You got the car with no mats, right? Yeah. None at all? No, none at all. Um, <laughs> apparently, it's an option, obviously, like it is in most cars. But everybody just, when they order cars, they just add them. So I didn't order my car. It was coming here already. So I just bought the one that was coming here already. Yeah. And the dealership didn't realize that there was no mats until yesterday. And then they were like, look, we could have thrown some in, but we don't even have any. We can't even get them. 
So they're like, good thing is you didn't get charged. They're two hundred forty dollars for the all se all season ones. Oh. Um, but they didn't check the box when they ordered the cars, and they actually did that on the other two that they ordered as well. So they're like, uh oh. But anyway, so I don't have mats, so I went to Menards, which is like a Home Depot up here in the north, and picked up some Universals for now. There you go. Um, and side hack, I did find a Kia dealer in Germany who is willing to ship them to me for 180 bucks with shipping. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, there's weather tech. There's weather tech. <laughs> nice, right off the highway. Oh wow, that's good. That's a cool factory. We should tour that. Uh, so back to Electrify America. Yeah, they basically, uh, somehow we got double charged because um, they <laughs> they said it said it delivered 143 kilowatt hours to the car, which the lady at Electrify America said 143 kilowatts. So she didn't quite have the terminology correct either. Um, but got it all sorted. Well, sort of. You got to wait for a refund after a few days now, which is annoying. But we've downloaded the app. Well, I had the app, but we switched my account to Imad's account on my phone. So we're gonna see if it's a phone thing, why we're having issues with these chargers. And we'll figure it out at the next one, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> That's the plan. We'll see. Cruising our way down Illinois, everyone's favorite place to cruise. <laughs> but this is um, really quiet, comfortable. Got my heated seat on one. It does have the auto climate control, which we set down to one. And I actually really like this like screen. I've never interacted with this before, but the way you can like switch between, yeah. that's cool. You know who hated that screen? Who? <laughs> it's a quirk and a feature he didn't like. Uh, Doug DeMiro. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. I think it's cool too. Great, great interior in this car. That's the past. This is the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except people in with gas cars aren't stressed out. Mono's brain anxiety at an 81% state of charge. <laughs> I think it's more about the fact that I really want to drive spiritedly. I'm sorry, I can't hear myself over that car. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to right now because I'm like so far from home. That's so, true. But man, when we pull up tomorrow, when we get home. <laughs> we're gonna charge this bad boy up at that library. Ripping it. <laughs> Heading into normal, I think, right? Yeah. This is Bloomington. They're attached to the hip, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so. Signs of Bloomington. Got just under nine miles to our destination. The range has definitely dropped quite a bit on the projected gasometer. We are thinking it's probably a combination of the cold weather and going into the wind, which can have a drastic effect. Although we also had music on like volume 60, so. <laughs> and the heat's on. The heat's on. What? Everything's going against it, but um, yeah, we're at 30%. Yeah, and 30% to me is supposed to be more than 60 miles. <laughs> The warmer we'll the battery, the faster it'll charge. So. For science. For science. Just romp it. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> now your stinger is the slow one in the fleet. <laughs> Who's charging? Oh shit. Maki. -E. Are we being iced or is that a. That's a Rivian. Oh, it is a Rivian. Yeah, the, hey. the wheels, I could tell. Nice. Oh, that's cool. I've never that, seen one. That like one's that. slammed. Oh, that's a uh, that's a launch green. This is how you know. It's a Walmart with half the letters burned out. <laughs> safety first, boys. Actually, yeah. So what's our safety rating for the last station we were at? The last station was good. The Target? Yeah. That was like an eight. Yeah. This one, I, I don't know. This one looks like a six. Maybe a five. There we go, made it. That's a beautiful Rivian. I've not seen those wheels before. 
got this cable. <laughs> Man, handle it. <laughs> Here we go. All right, we got it working. Up to 27% state of charge. And it is pulling 77 kilowatts. Again, it's like 15 degrees out here right now. But, um, oh, and also it actually worked this time. It used my phone, with the RFID connection. So it may be an issue with Aunt Imad's Android phone. <laughs> Not trying to throw shade, but yeah, we'll see if it climbs above 75 kilowatts. Hopefully it does. We wrapped on it a little bit, but not very much. That's so probably still a pretty cold battery. But it is charging here. And uh, right next to a launch green R1T with looks like the forest edge interior, or maybe just black interior. Great, it's got the bright 20 inch wheels. I love this thing. So yeah, made a new friend over here. All right, we are at 43% and 71 kilowatts, 70. Really not getting much warmer. <laughs> nope. And neither are we. No, this Let's is go to Walmart. Hard. Let's go inside. <laughs> I've never spent this much time in Walmarts in my life. Yeah, this one feels a bit less safe than the uh, previous oh, charging yeah. stop. Four and a half out of ten. Four and a half out of ten. Okay, I could, I can probably agree with that. But it doesn't feel like I'm gonna get shot. It just feels like I'm gonna get iced. <laughs> yeah. Well, we sort of got iced. That guy with the Rivian took the 350 kilowatt charger even though his truck can't really do more than 150. Although I don't think ours would do more than 150 in this temperature anyways. Not sure. Looks so good though. That's, oh yeah. We are at 88%. All right. We'll definitely make it to the next spot. Probably 50 kilowatts. That's really good for 88%, yeah. honestly. It is so freaking cold. It's stupid. Uh, 204 miles on the gasometer. We are at 89%. So we have to go at least two miles per percent. Oh yeah, we have to go 150 miles. Mm -hmm. So we have a 50 mile delta and yeah, this will be interesting. Yep, <laughs> and we're about to check out the CarPlay. Yeah, we're gonna try CarPlay. So Android Auto has been great. It just kind of cuts off the screen like yeah. right there, which I think they're gonna fix at some point. Just met JR and the Rivian right there. Uh, super cool truck. That would, that would be a blast to own in Colorado. Yeah. That color with those Brembos? Yeah. It's so good. Dark green with the yellow. I think I need to wrap my Miata in green <laughs> and get yellow brake calipers. <laughs> Bronze wheels. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to dump this trash out real quick up here. Yeah, so that actually, I wanted to mention that. Our issue with some of, pretty much every Electro America stop so far, no one, none of them have trash cans or anything. Like, they're just not geared like gas stations have been. They're just put up. Yeah. Just to like hit a quota, apparently. Yeah, yeah that's what it feels there. Like. So we're gonna dump our trash and continue <laughs> on to. I'm oh, sorry, it was empty. Uh, continue on to Collinsville. Back on the highway, and we got CarPlay set up. Oh, it takes up the whole screen. It's like, oh, the Apple does it better. It's dude. beautiful. Um, but we all we did notice through this that the you can't really see it down there, but the USB ports. The USB-A on the one on the left is the only one that'll do the data to the screen, like to do CarPlay and Android Auto. The USB-C port down there is only for charging. So glad that they included USB-C, looking at you, Ionic 5, but it's, <laughs> it's, the, it's the same, it's, yeah, same situation with the Ionic 5 where only that one USB-A port is the one that actually does the uh, data connection cable, so. But you got your phone wirelessly charging right there, so. Yeah. Your weird big phone. <laughs> Listen to Angels and Airwaves, of course. Uh, we are an hour and a half out from Collinsville. Yeah, that's what yeah, it's called. Collinsville. East of East St. Louis. Not actually East St. Louis. Demod wouldn't let us stop in East St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to anybody watching from East St. Louis. <laughs> St. Louis is cool. It's got the arch. Just, we, are, we are arguing about the arch. Uh, it's considered the gateway to the west. But here's my thought. The arch is the gateway to Missouri, and then Kansas City is more like the gateway to the west. But then if you think about it, that's just Kansas, and then eastern Colorado. So really the Rockies are the gateway to the west. The Rockies are definitely the gateway to the west. And when people in New York say, oh my god, you live you like live out west, and I'm like, well, I mean, like, if you look on a map, Colorado's pretty central. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so yeah. The, the arch is just the gateway to the middle of the Midwest, yeah. and it's just a gateway to be... Eastern or Western Midwest, I don't know. So we're about to be at the gateway to the Midwest. Semantics, right? Yeah. Anyways, um, we're using HDA, 
to drive on the highway, which uh, has been pretty great. Like it's relatively hands-free for a long time, like really similar to the Genesis system. And like I'm not touching it. Right we now. can't quite figure out if it's a timer or if it just thinks it's like if the road's too tightly curved, then it takes or prompts you to take over. But this is tighter than earlier, and it's not doing it. So. Yeah, we haven't really figured out, but at least it doesn't bug you every 10 seconds. Oh, that was good. That was Maki. a good <laughs> <laughs> I haven't driven that, so I can't see. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. So I just tap it. And it goes, yeah. Well, not tap it. I just have to move the wheel a little bit. Bare, yeah, barely move it, which is nice. Some wheels require, like, crazy amounts of torque, which is, like, scary on the highway because you feel like you're about to, like, rotate the car into the ditch versus... Like the ID4 does it properly, where it's like capacitive, and so you just touch it. But this one, just light input. Um, some more complaints, though. As we can tell, it's dark, and it's too dark. No ambient lighting, mm -hmm. which is a slight bummer. Yeah. So the I expected the tech package to include the ambient lighting, which I have the tech package, which we'll, which we'll touch on in a second. But the GT line does have ambient lighting, and it's very good ambient lighting. And they didn't put any in this one, even with the tech package. So mine is the all-wheel drive wind. Um, so that's a bummer. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go aftermarket on that, which kind of sucks. And then the other thing, so they did the tech package does give you the cameras, which is hands down one of my favorite features. But I think on the HDA2, which comes on the GT line, you actually get the ability to what is this, lane switch assist or something? Yeah. Where you just kind of click it, kind of kind of click it, <laughs> and it'll make sure you're clear and get into the next lane. All right, we paused this Angels and Airways music for another update. <laughs> we have um, 36 miles of range with 22 miles actually remaining. So the Delta is about, yeah, uh, 13 miles. It was originally like 35 or 40 miles, so the Delta is definitely shrinking with the weather. We have the cold symbol, so the battery is cold. Still eco mode, and uh, let's see, 20% state of charge, so. Made it to Collinsville. Let's see how well it charges on this one. According to the EA app, it says we hit a peak of 175 kilowatts at the last charger, which is not this car's true potential, but pretty good. Is it at the Walmart? For, yeah, I think it's at a Walmart. Pretty good for the cold, super cold weather. 19 degrees right now, according to the car. Oh, this Walmart has a more modern logo. And there's a Starbucks in front And there's a Starbucks that right all, there. And the Verizon stuff. Uh, like, this is like an 8 out of 10 so far. The safety score rating? Safety score. <laughs> yeah. right, where's the oh, it's a fountain. Oh, there's a fountain. Bunch of chargers. Will we see Maybe, anyone yeah. else? That needs to be the game. That needs to be. Yeah, what vehicles are we going to see yeah. charging? So far, it's been Kona Electric, Mustang Mach E, Rivian. and a Rivian R1T. Nobody today. And this one's empty. This has a Wait, is there snow in front of one of them? <laughs> wow. There is. They're like, wait, what do we do with these snow yeah. piles? <laughs> this pile see snow. those electric outlets out there? <laughs> I'm gonna get a great picture of that. We've literally been iced. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> caption of the day. <laughs> All right, 350, baby. Oh, can you pull the little? That thing is really annoying. <laughs> and is there a need for it? These cables are so. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Initiating. <laughs> it's so cold out here. Train for the best. Come on, 240 kilowatts, let's go. It's at what, 6%? Mm-hmm. Something like that. Firing up. Oh, don't 20 stop kilowatts. If it stops at 50. Nuance number two. We're getting Walmart's really... Number 3,000. We have to walk half a mile. Yeah, we're getting really used to these Walmarts. So the thing about going to Walmart late at night 
is the doors are always closed on one end and it's always the end closest to the chargers <laughs> so 10 degrees you gotta walk all the way over here oh my gosh Dude, my legs so this walmart was actually pretty nice the bathroom was unusually nice mm -hmm. self-checkout lanes were beautifully clean yeah yeah great safety rating for this walmart everyone's yeah. been really nice we talked to you place some guy was like hey fyi they close in 28 minutes yeah I don't, we didn't even ask thanks have a good night yeah all right Let's see what our situation is over here cables are nice and sort of warm 27 percent state of charge pulling 80 okay. kilowatts right now better than where we were decent so i think we're gonna charge to 50 55 because we have 80 miles to go and so far we've been getting at least two miles per one percent yeah a little bit more than that so 50 percent should be safe 55 is i guess safer all right we're gonna chill in the car yeah it's cold <laughs> approaching the middle of the pack now 43 percent at 150 kilowatts so still not blazing fast like the car can really take but in this temperature that's pretty pretty good yeah i'll take it over 50. Yeah. <laughs> so we should hit 50 percent 55 in no time what town is it Sullivan? all right we're heading to sullivan missouri just wrapped up in collinsville illinois we went ahead and just did up to 68 percent um so yeah plenty of range to get there the gateway of the west <laughs> the gateway of the midwest gateway of the midwest st louis arch that's a beautiful skyline yeah, good. i don't think i've ever seen it i love that bridge over there the one way over there hard to see the biggest city we've seen in a while yeah we're not normal illinois anymore welcome to missouri nice Thanks, Google. We switched the sound profile to dynamic. I dig it. I dig this one. Yeah, it really responds to your acceleration. Oh, um, see a support mode change. Make it louder. Ooh. That thing's got some balls, dude. That's I cool. can't wait to open it up in town. Yeah. All right. We're at 50% state of charge, 92 miles on the guessometer. So yeah, just under 200 miles on the like quoted full range for a battery, which is not great. And before anyone complains, yes, we are using winter mode. Where is it? Is it that settings? settings, yeah. Winter mode is on, which I don't think Amon knew about. So I did not know about it. Learning, this is the drive full of learning curves for Amon. Battery performance may deteriorate at low temperatures. Using this function to maintain driving and DC charging performances is recommended. However, using it will reduce the driving range. There's a... So... They start out front about it. Yeah. Tells you everything you need to know. 30 minutes from our final stop of the day. Or it's actually just the final destination for the day. Uh, Sullivan, Missouri. <laughs> degrees so we found it to be a little more efficient this run which uh, I did check and the wind has completely died down so that definitely I think played a part but it's also just cold so found our roughly halfway point depending on where you start a little over, a little over halfway from where Ahmad started comfort Boy. comfort in made it what are we at 30 percent Plenty of, plenty of juice. This is definitely a Hampton Inn at one point. <laughs> it's got all the design cues. <laughs> I've stayed in enough Hampton Inns to... Big Hampton Inn guy right here. <laughs> got your Jack in the Box fit, your gallon of water, <laughs> tacos, perfect midnight snack. Oh, I'm gonna feel heartburn in the morning, that's all I know. <laughs> Parking between two giant trucks. Still not, still not used to these handles. Oh. <laughs> Nice. So they can put that on, but yeah, not interior but not, ambient, lighting. Ambient, lighting. ambient lighting. Shoot.
cheapos over here. Nice and cold. like map quest days. Wait, I'm gonna print this. Those are the days. I'm gonna put it in the car. Yeah. <laughs> in a piece of paper. You probably don't know about that. That's what we used hey, to have. I to do. remember map quest. I mean I was I was the fringe generation for that. <laughs> yeah. He puts the mod in the mod, I tell you what. <laughs> I like that. Oh, here's your exterior ambient lighting. Shut up. It's a sensitive topic. <laughs> oh, leaving, what time is it? 6.30, 6.45. The guy at the front desk, did you get enough sleep? Maybe. See how good their coffee is. Probably not very good. Hello, driver one. Starting first run setup. First run, all right. English. Ooh. Cordy. Uh, oh yeah, weird. <laughs> Rename. E. God. E God. That's like typewriter sounds. Yeah. I said that was gonna take five minutes. What? What would take five minutes about and that? Why would the? Why would this stop? You gotta plug in your USB A. <laughs> I forgot it's 2014. <laughs> Should we sport motor back to the charger for five minutes? I mean, I don't know if we want to drive it like hard when it's cold. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I thought you lived on the edge a little bit. You're like, I don't I care. Mean, it's your loan. <laughs> Yeah, this coffee is really not very good. I never know though. So the last road trip video, or one of the previous ones, me and Kyle to Vegas on the way back, which we didn't film, tiny little hotel in middle of nowhere in Utah. Amazing coffee. So you never know. How quick does that steering wheel heater? It's warm, but again, it's in mostly, the wrong place. It's like kind of here, mm. but it's not. It's mostly here, which is. Honestly, very frustrating. Back at Walmart, our usual stomping grounds. Uh, let's find a 350. I think it's supposed to have some 350s here. 350, first try. All right, let's see what kind of charging speed we get on a cold battery. <laughs> Relatively low in the pack. We're at 28% state of charge. All right, let's do your phone real quick again, one last time, because mm -hmm. I think next charge it'll be warmer and we can mess with mine. All right. <laughs> said charging started so we're good 52 kilowatts yep all right well we'll check back into it beautiful sunrise here in uh Sullivan, Sullivan. that's right Sully Missouri we're just trudging through grasslands barren wasteland crossing major highways crossing major highways and by that I mean route 66 welcome to route 66 uh welcome to the EV owner life this is actually going to be the best place we've had yet to chill. Nice Starbucks. Open at 6.30. Is where it's at? Where are we? Are we in? Oh yeah, Sullivan, yeah. Yeah. Much better than the uh, breakfast at the hotel. <laughs> Ice coffee though. Really? I'm not a hot coffee drinker at all. <laughs> I'm that guy who drinks iced coffee all year. <laughs> Now, if only that was like closer to the charger. <laughs> I, mean, I can see it. Yeah, basically next door. Yeah. So you said climate control setting from the phone, not quite the easiest thing. 
That's easy. It's or just, the most it's not customizable. Like you can't. I can't find a way to turn the seats and the steering wheel heater on. Only temperature. And if anyone knows how, put it in the comments. Yeah. I also didn't dig that much, so I'll see. Yeah. It's probably in there somewhere, and I'm just an idiot. But <laughs> pulling 52, 87 percent sounds about right. Oh, it is just so cold. He's trying to tape the front of his car, which is a form of PPF, paint protection film. And it's a, it's not a bad idea to do when it, like you buy a car from a dealer and then drive a thousand miles, but it's too cold or something. It's not working. It's gonna look funny. Yeah, so it'll protect from rock chips and stuff. It's all part of the ownership process, I guess. It's his car, he do what he want. Somebody told me the key is to do it vertically instead of horizontally and causes less flapping. Huh. But we'll see. I bet this is gonna be more trouble than it is not, but. <laughs> I am notorious for chip paint, paint chips, so. For a low price, this guy will do your PPF for you. <laughs> with blue painter's tape. Hey, I mean, it's. Yeah, this is a very polarizing process. There's people online that are like, it's a car. Functional. Well, it's not even that, it's like I just spent quite a few grand on something that I can try to reduce issues with for $8. Like, why not try it, right? Yeah. And we're charging, so it's not like we got anything better to do. 94% getting up to the top. Pulling 34 kilowatts. Nice and slow. Imad, you took the clear out of clear bra. <laughs> so at the Chicago Auto Show, all the cars that were wrapped in the Toyota booth, they just wrapped over the badges. It looked so bad. <laughs> it looked like that. 97%, I think this will get us to our next stop. Real professional. All right. Woo. So we charged it up to 97%. <laughs> the guess meter only says 185 miles, which we're guessing was based on last night's driving, which was Less wind and cold. We're aiming to get to Mount Vernon, which is 180 miles. The car says 186 miles. <laughs> which is, at 97%, there should be no doubt this car should make it to 180 miles. Yeah. So we have a backup called Lebanon, which is actually where I bought one of my first cars. And we'll see how it looks when we get there. So Lebanon is a hundred miles away. I don't know if you can hear the whistling, but I think that's the tape. <laughs> so maybe we won't make it to Mount Vernon because, so the drag coefficient of the Ionic 5 is 0.29 and on this car it's 0.28, but I think this car is currently 0.29. <laughs> and about 12 decibels too high. <laughs> Inside. Freaking cold. What is it? 22? Yeah, 21, 22. Cool. We fixed the tape noise problem. <laughs> Zero decibel tape. Tom DeLong covers all. <laughs> your buying experience so it's good ish um, I refuse to pay over MSRP so two Fridays ago I basically sat down and I called I would say between 20 to 25 Kia Hyundai dealers because I was in the market for the Ionic 5 and or the EV6 um, and really I was trying to huh? they both. <laughs> yeah I was um, I was really leaning towards the Ionic 5 because I like the exterior better um, but then with the interior packages I opted for the EV6, but I also basically just said whoever can get me one of them first for MSRP. Yeah. Um, I did. So you had one picked out in Kansas, right? I did. So there's a dealership in Lawrence, Kansas that apparently is one of the higher volume Kia uh, Hyundai dealerships. EV6, no, Kia dealerships. 
and they were at 5,000 over MSRP. I did it because they had the package, blah, blah, blah. And then I just couldn't sleep at night knowing that I was paying that much more. Yeah. So that's the next day I went, I put the $500 deposit down or everything. Um, and then I called around, got a hold of this dealership in Wisconsin, uh, Dorsch Ford Kia. They were getting three on their website, they had them. And I called and they're like, oh no, they're not called for. And I was like, okay. And it was the Glacier with the tech package. Um, and I was like, MSRP? And they said, yes. And I said, okay, sign me up. Called the other dealership, canceled. They asked, like, where'd you find one? I was like, Wisconsin. She's like, and they're not charging you markup? I was like, nope. And there's plenty others that aren't. Yep. Um, Don't settle for it. Yeah. So it's now it's more challenging because most of the inventory has been allocated at this point. Yeah. So if you're looking for one now, you're likely going to pay some markup. But there are some dumb numbers. Like, um, if you're looking at EV6, we have I, I started a group called the Kia EV6 US. You just search that on Facebook. And there's tons of people on there posting what they're finding. And there's 5 to 15K markups right now. Jeez. Um, and it is what it is, I guess, at this point. I wouldn't do it. But I also drove 1,100 miles after I bought mine to save $5,000. <laughs> so, um, yeah. 5000 is not the worst markup. But it's still... Yeah, it's still a markup, but we don't know what the market's going to do. I mean, it could be, it could mean, if you pay enough markup, you could be upside down in the car before long. If yeah. If it settles down. Exactly. So, basically, I, I, I chose this dealership. I had very good communication with my sales guy. I think the sales guy made the deal for me. Uh, his name was Dylan. Extremely, extremely communicative. Um, right off the bat, I told him I need some kind of a purchase contract that shows what I'm going to pay. And they did, they, they sent me this contract over, but there was no signature on it. So the next day I was like, can you and your manager sign it? And they did, they signed it. And they said, this is what we're gonna charge you with their $500 dealer fee, whatever. Yep. Um, all the you know paperwork and all that. And that's basically it. And then they got me in touch with the finance guy. Uh, he called me, he offered me the warranties and everything. And I politely declined. And when I was in person, I landed yesterday. Um, he just kind of had to bring them back up to me and he was like, okay, if you don't want them, just sign right here. I did not get it. Just so you know, it's between 2,500 and 3,000. Um, I can go on about the warranty, but, um, to basically get 10 years for everything, all of them, every warranty, because there's varying warranties. Um, it's about 2,500 to $3,000 depending on what they tell you. Yeah, um, which could be worth it if you're like, I'm going to keep this car for 10 years. But I think a lot of people, yourself included, don't see this as a really long-term car. Mm -hmm. Maybe a few years, if yeah. that. Yeah, and most of that comes from the fact that I know they're going to make improvements. Mm -hmm. And in two or three years, I'm going to be like, okay, I want the new one or I want something else or something like that. So nothing against the car. It's like cell phones. You just make yeah. <laughs> the new one every year. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so it was super easy. The finance process took... 10 minutes the dealership was really nice because it's also a ford and lincoln dealership yeah so it's ford lincoln and kia really nice dealership yeah um and uh you know they picked me up at the airport and i did film a lot of some of that stuff they picked me up at the airport took me to the dealer signed all the paperwork and i was out of there in an hour yeah um, good timing yeah sweet yeah it's good to hear good dealership experiences because there's a lot of negativity flying around and yeah, I, I go back and forth on the dealership model as a whole. Like, I really <laughs> like the idea of direct sales like Tesla and Rivian. Yes. But uh, with the legacy automakers, you're kind of stuck with dealers, at least for now. And so it's interesting to see the route Kia and Hyundai have done with this car. I mean, we couldn't agree. It's kind of a weird rollout situation. I see. The, the launch messy. is messy, it, and especially being done in winter, and they don't offer battery preconditioning. Like, that's a whole different thing. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and I think, I don't know, we'll see how like the GV60 launches through Genesis. I don't know if that'll be any better. We, can, we can't really give them the benefit of the doubt yet. But yeah. good to hear it was a solid experience. Yeah, my review could change. Um, so I, I think one of the things I found was there was a pretty big scratch on the rear tail light. And I brought it up and they said, look, if you were local, then we could like paint it and fix it for you. But obviously that wasn't an option for me because I was driving home 1,100 miles away. Yeah. Um, so James, who's the sales manager, gave me his card and he said, get a quote from a Kia dealership when you get down to Texas and we'll help take care of it. What that means, I don't know. It's a pretty aggressive scratch and they couldn't tell me where it came from. 
Um, it's really frustrating. I was really bummed because I saw it after I signed all the paperwork. Yeah. Um, so. Glad you saw it. If they don't do something about it, that's where my review might change. But that might reflect solely on him and not my sales guy. So. Yeah. yeah. Solid sales experience. So. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah. Other than that. Yeah. And so this is the again the wind mid spec with the tech package and. That's something you said you noticed was Ionic 5 looks great on the outside, of course, but so does this. There's surprisingly different. and But the interior specs seem to be better. Fun. Well, you're comparing mid-spec to mid-spec, SEL to wind. It seems like the Kia gives you a bit more. Like the SEL and the Ionic 5, you can't get the air-conditioned seats yeah, and the exactly. steering wheel. Like, and I think there was like, and that was a big factor for me. And then the other one was I just like the more futuristic design of this. Now yeah. the Ionic 5's got that adjustable armrest, yeah. which is kind of cool. Uh, my wife was really excited about that, but she's really excited about this cubby space down here for her purse. Nice. Uh, where we just have a bunch of cables right now, but <laughs> yeah. We are at Casey's. Yeah, let's try America at a gas station. What a concept. I know. What this a concept. is wild, no Walmart. 350s, yes. Nice. See how it does. It's finally above freezing for the first time <laughs> in our entire road trip. Yes. And we are at fairly middle batteries. So basically, the range was the equivalent of the route to Mount Vernon. So we were looking like we would not make it unless we like hypermiled it, which uh, in this case, I think we just splash and dash, uh, which I guess is really gas terminology. <laughs> I've, that sounds like you're about to go pee <laughs> and then like just leave it. <laughs> All right. You want to try it, your phone? Yeah, dude. Let's try this. On my phone, there should be a way. I just need to mess with it because I think it's just my phone automatically goes like, oh, you're trying to use NFC? Here's Google Pay. And it's like, I'm not trying to use Google Pay. Yeah. Which is honestly kind of weird. So plug in first. I think plug, but make see if you have the app ready on your phone. Let's try this. Charger one. Charger one. Oh, these cables are so thick. Electrify America Pass, which is what I have. See, it says 150. It says 350. This is the same crap that I... <laughs> and this one says Chatamo is on this unit too, which is not true. Wait, wait, hit three. We're at charger three. Oh my God. I think that's what I've been doing wrong. Oh. Because <clears throat> I've just been looking at this. Oh. Yeah, go to charger three. Oh and then do. God. Okay, so that makes more sense. Yeah. So CCS, CCS. So I have to start charge. Let's see what happens. Initiating. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, don't put this part in the video. <laughs> but in all honesty. No, yeah. A normal person would just look at this. Yeah. How many people are going to know to look at the <laughs> last number in that string of characters? <laughs> That's a very good point. I did not know this. Okay. Welcome to mod. There we go. It works. Not a very bright screen. And I actually don't even have to scan my phone. Nice. No tapping required. I just was looking at the wrong number. By phone, you mean tablet. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude. Okay. Sweet. Let's see. What, we're already pulling 70. Warm up, buddy. For the first time, it's not like below freezing, so this should be a little bit better. 20 minutes till 80%. We don't even need to get to 80, but... This thing's been flying around with our spirited driving. Dude, the tape's holding on. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, the whistling we heard earlier went away, so the tape has settled in apparently. I've become one with the paint. I forgot this is here. <laughs> nice matte blue finish on the front. Still 52% at 50 kilowatts. That is really bad. I guess it could be the charger. So this right here, swirly piano black, is why you request your car. If you get it brand new, ask for it dusty, because that's how they know not to clean it. <laughs> Mention the plate. Tell them not to put holes for the plates. Yeah. No holes in the front bumper for plates. 
don't let them touch it, don't let them clean it. But uh, hey, this one has trash cans. So this station is probably the best we've had because they have chargers. That one's only slightly iced. They have a cat and <laughs> trash cans, gas station with all the normal amenities. We don't have to walk a mile to get something. <laughs> That's how they all should be. Yeah. Yeah, it's still just pulling 50 kilowatts. That is crazy. It should be like pumping hot, although, I mean, it's cold and we didn't pre ignition the battery, so it's hard to know. Yeah, but I mean, we haven't gotten 50 anywhere. Like. Yeah, that's the worst I think we've seen this whole time. Yeah. I mean, we could switch chargers and see if it's the charger. Let's try it. All right. We're just gonna see if it's the charger. So he's moving it over one spot to the other 350 since literally none of them are being used. Probably not a lot of EVs in Lebanon, Missouri, if we're being honest. Cool deep though. So this is number two. Really glary screen. Go. Swipe on my phone. Charging started. Let's so see what this happens. process is actually a lot cleaner now that I know to look at that tiny little <laughs> VIN number up there. <laughs> yeah, because honestly, I was just looking at the glaringly obvious number yeah, right there. That's, yeah, but that's, common sense would have told me to look at all of them, and I just didn't. I mean, that's valid, though. So now that it's figured out, what is your impression of Electrify America? If the speeds were better, I'd be very happy with it the way it is. Yeah, so I think a large part of that is just the car doesn't do preconditioning, which we've all agreed is a terrible idea for them to launch it without it. And they should theoretically have it. Oh, this one's cranking up to... 100 kilowatts. Stay right there. Stay right there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't move. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's pretty decent. Twice as what we were getting the other one. I don't know why the other one stopped cooling. So other than this protecting the paint, <laughs> so when we get to Dallas, that's gonna come off. Yeah. And then what else are you planning on this car, man of many modifications? So with my Torx, I basically was just like, I'm gonna buy some, because nobody makes anything for it. Um, so I just bought universal pieces, uh, a couple pieces from Germany. I can't ask for them. Um, but anyway, um, so number two, I have universal mud flaps, which I used on my Torx, which I think will look good on this. They're pretty big. Um, and I think it'll kind of make it look clean. And then that, and then I ordered some universal side splitters, and uh, I'm gonna install those. They come in tomorrow. And black roof. That's that's the one oh, thing I'm yeah, doing. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna black the roof and the spoiler out. I might actually just start with the middle only and see how it looks. And then, are you gonna eventually get different wheels? I am 100% going to get different wheels, and the design will be des decided based on what the calipers look like on this, because I don't know how big they are. I know the changing wheels and tires on EVs is a polarizing topic, but <laughs> this is gonna be an in-town car. If I lose 30 yeah. miles of range, I'm okay with it. I mean, it's already not incred incredible range on the highway, but in town, yeah. it should be a lot better. You'll have home charging. But the GT comes with 21s, but I don't need 21s. Yeah. Although they look good. They look good, yeah. but you hit a pothole in those. Yeah. You're smoked. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what our charging speed is. 95. We're killing it. Yeah. We could definitely make it to Mount Vernon with this, but may as well let it go a little bit. I want to 75. Uh, nice quick charge up. Uh, what are we at? 66%? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that'll get us to Mount Vernon easily. And actually, this UI has been really snappy. Like, this is faster than some of the other stations I've used. Three dollars, two cents, three dollars and ten cents. EV life, bro. <laughs> it's so much more bearable when it's above freezing. Yeah. Like, this is so much this better. This is so nice. <laughs> I have a smile on my face. <laughs> Our town, your town. Nice. Is that what it says? <laughs> it's a sign. Oh, it does, yeah. All right, leaving our little Casey stop, heading to... Probably the best stop we've had from a functionality perspective. Yeah, it wasn't even a target parking lot. I feel I feel like this is like an 8 out of 10 on the safety scale. Maybe even an 8.5. Yeah, especially midday. Yeah. No, no issues there. 
Good job, Casey's. So if you had to design a charging stop, what would that look like? Uh, a QT. <laughs> Basically the chargers. Give me them taquitos. Yeah. <laughs> Quick trip with fast chargers. Yeah. With a Dutch Brothers attached to it. A Dutch Ooh, Brothers. Um, It'd be game over. Chick-fil-A next door. <laughs> I'll also say, if it's in a Target parking lot, fine. Just yeah. have the parking lot be one of those with like little tertiary places like Starbucks, yeah. Chick-fil-A, Taco Bell, McDonald's, I don't know. So, I've never thought about this. What happens in like torrential downpour when you need to charge? Yeah, you just uh, charge. It doesn't. You, you like go that. out. The, the chargers are water safe. Um, you just aren't. Yeah. Now, Electro America did announce they're going to start rolling out covered chargers, which is great. Like good idea should have been that way from the beginning. So maybe steps, dude. Maybe yeah, steps. we'll we'll see how that rollout goes and how many they're actually gonna do. But that was a recent headline. But so far, no rain, which is great. Just a little bit of snow as it left Chicago. I think the rest of the trip, like the rest of today's trip, will be hopefully very like good weather and smooth. Yeah. I think we're gonna hit the 50s. Yeah, so. we're on the uphill um, for the temperatures. 36 degrees right now, still have the little snow symbol. And uh, so we left that charger at about 66% state of charge and we've got 82 miles to go. So see, we'll see how the efficiency does. 124 miles on the guesso meter. It's still pretty poor. So, yeah, so the Delta right now is 42 miles. We'll see if that changes now that we're hitting warmer temperatures. Out here warming up the battery. Oh, that torque is nice. <laughs> Sport mode, baby. <laughs> uh, it is 40 degrees out, so this is the warmest stop we've had yet. God, this thing gets up there. Pretty exhilarating. And uh, yeah, so the the Delta actually grew this time, so we are seeing better efficiency than just ruined it. before. Well, yeah, <laughs> prior Sport mode. Like, because we left the last stop with a delta of like 40 miles between the range guesser and the stop, and now we got up to like 50 some, so plenty good. No are. cars. No cars. Not being iced or anything. Yeah, I was hoping we'd see more vehicles plugged in, but there's just not a big EV presence. Nice. This is the busiest parking lot we've seen yet. Yeah, it's like right on the lane that everybody uses to exit. It's so nice out. <laughs> this is amazing. Station number four. God, you really can't do these one hand. This is, uh, oh, man. got it. So far we've had no like actual chargers down, which speed, is nice. Speed's the only issue. Like we just had ass speeds, but overall like reliability wise, we've had no issues. Yeah. Now that I know how to use the app properly. So. Yeah. <laughs> what do we think it's gonna start? Speed wise here. I think it's gonna start, it's gonna top around like 74. I, think. I want it to be in the 150s. 26%. <laughs> Starting it's pretty slow. Climbing. 74. I said 78, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Pretty good. So there's only 24 minutes left to get to 80%. We'll see what it sits at. Again, no restaurant options or anything. Yeah. Really frustrating. No restaurants. How come every Walmart I, growing up I've seen has like 12 restaurants next to it? All right, what are we doing now? 132 still. 132 kilowatts yeah. at 64%. Not bad. Getting there. 
still not great, but it's about 40 degrees out, so. Much better than 50 where we've been. Yeah. <laughs> Under the hood for the first time. Oh, it's got a light. <laughs> they put ambient lighting in your front and yeah. not inside the car. No ambient lighting. They, they literally had to wire this. Whereas on the inside, there was already a bunch of harnesses. Sore they subject. Not to use it. 69% nice. Okay. Uh, so oh, our next coverage though. Oh, let me try it. The service out here is rough. Our next stop is you know what town it's in? Oklahoma. Um, Wagoner. Wagoner. And it's a Francis Energy Charger, so not Electrify America. So we're looking into that application because and they're all down Oklahoma. Yeah, so we're going to be entering a new network zone, which will be cool because I've never used Francis Energy. It has good reviews. Yeah, Kyle said it's solid. All right, we got the Francis Energy app downloaded. Yeah, so the criticisms are that if you're just driving through Oklahoma, you have to at least preload 20 bucks. But it's kind of cool because, you know, you zoom out. And it's showing me, like, EVgo chargers, too. Um, so we are here. And there's two, two spots there. We're actually going to head down this way. So there's... A bunch in Muskogee, but if you zoom in, it starts showing where we were going to stop, which is in Wagner. But apparently, one of these, I think, is connected to a QT. But it seems like it shows you what kind of connections you can get. So, like, if we go to Muskogee or Wagner, you go to this one, CCS, CCS, Max 200. Oh, 200. So Plus you just gotta, you gotta make a few clicks to get to it, but yeah. Yeah, so maybe they're all 200. That could be possible, so that's why they don't specify. 200, yeah. That's entirely possible. Yeah, so yeah. we head to Muskogee. Yep, yeah, we're gonna Muskogee, Oklahoma. 150 miles. Let's see if we can make it. 160, 180, we got a 20 mile delta. We should be fine. Dude, why is it still 180? Uh, 93% state of charge. I think that's a... Well, no, we'll find out. It might be judging conservatively. We'll see how the Delta is halfway in and see. Yeah. We better get there with at least... Oh, that's going to cut it close, but we'll see. Ah, uh, be really fine. Frustrating. I'm still frustrated. We'll go check out Francis Energy. I feel like we're entering like a new kingdom. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Francis! Let's try America's borders. <laughs> are up ahead and then we cross over to the territory of francis king francis <laughs> cooled seat review very effective this texas guy is gonna be happy in the summer <laughs> <laughs> Update just entered Oklahoma, so we are on our third state, and we've done how many miles? Um, so what, what was the mileage when you picked it up? We have 854 total. It was 66 when I picked it up. All right, so we've done just under 800 miles. What bothers me is that there's 70% battery and only 129 miles of range. Yeah. Like, that range is awful. Yeah. Just went up to 130. Yeah, right. Well. We'll see. see All winter mode. Oh, we did turn off winter mode just now. Yeah, we hit 45 degrees. Yep. I'm not exactly 45 sure. 45 outside. Balmy, nice, beautiful, basically Florida. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just not sure exactly. I need to research winter mode and see exactly like what it's used for. sign <laughs> this is exactly what we were talking about earlier. we're in our happy place yeah. um so yeah we're gonna try francis energy is that the company yeah why does he keep doing that i don't know maybe he has uh sensors and they're triggering something 
or your tape. <laughs> no, I mean, it hasn't done it the whole time, though. It's just this specific car. That's true. And I'm not even close to it. This X7 is making this car nervous. Yeah, like, I wonder if it has some kind of radar stuff that's messing with mine. I don't know. 135 miles in used 57%, 56% battery so far. That sounds better. So that's a lot better. Temperatures are now 56 Degrees. Nice. Like no cars, Walmart. dude. No cars. No cars at all. So, what are we working with here? They're all blue. They all have Chatamo and CCS. Yeah. Okay, That's so interesting. Gonna, uh, attempt to try to turn around. I honestly kind of hate having it in the back. Really? Yeah. Like, this is kind of obnoxious in these kind of lots because there's always like cars trying to go by. Yeah. All right. How do we use Francis? So, so these screens have some damage of some sort. Yeah, somebody just came by. Okay, so okay, this is what we need. This says plug in, oh, charge port. now, tap, swipe, or scan. Does it say plug in for plug in? It does say plug in now. Station ID or name? Two zero eight seven eight. Two zero eight seven. There. Preparing. It says thirty-nine cents a minute. Wow. That's gonna add up real quick. Yeah. Dude, should we use another screen? The screen might be shot. Strike one. Let's see. This one looks fine. Communication fit. Fan's still fired up, but we're not charging anything. <laughs> this is awful. I don't Why think is the screen works at all? God, I hope it didn't charge me some crap. Let's go to a different Alright, different stall. Loading, scanning QR code. I mean, all it did was find it. <laughs> Plugged in. Now it just says... Same thing. Tap, so yeah. I'll just use my credit card. Which I guess if it doesn't give you a discount anyway, you may as well. The screens don't work. I want a receipt. I don't trust the system. <laughs> yeah. Cooling has started. And let's see what the screen says. Oh, well, the car said charging started. 15, 30. It's climbing. It freeze or is it just very stable? <laughs> Maybe it's a very stable 86 kilowatts. Yeah, so McAllister is an hour and 20 minutes from here. And then from McAllister to Plano, we'll fill up there. And then back to my house will be two and a half, 150 miles. So yep. we'll do that. Yep. We'll just get what we can here. At 87 kilowatts, that's not awesome. I don't know. We could always just get it to go and just eat it over here. It's not in the car. Oh yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Is it a log you out? Hell? I guess I don't know if the app knows you're actually charging. Well, yeah, no. In so use. In use. God, it feels so good to have short sleeves. And yeah, I guess I guess I'm road tripping an EV6 with a Tesla shirt. Oops. Uh, yep. New charging experience. A lot of noise over here. Let's see what it's charging 82? at. Up to 82 percent. Says active power zero kilowatts. That's bullshit. Did it just stop? Yeah, 
Yeah, it stopped like delivering. Well, that'll get us to uh, Easily, McAllister, McAllister, top charge. up, and then home. Home. 79 miles, yep. <clears throat> All right, 79 miles. We're at 82% state of charge. It is saying three miles per kilowatt hour on the meter lately, so our efficiency has definitely gone up. Overall, okay experience. The first station didn't really work. Touchscreen was down. Looks like it's been beat. Yeah. <laughs> Baseball bat. <laughs> Looked pretty bad. And yeah, no trash cans. Although I don't know like who would be responsible for taking care of trash cans. I don't know. There's just not really any perfect solution. The Casey's was the best we've had, I think. Mm -hmm. As far as a full-fledged, had everything we needed at one spot. Mm -hmm. type it in it just says it's like an error message it says that this this code is tied to more than one premium offer so and then it doesn't do anything it's almost like the rollout of this car was half done and then they're like wait what do you mean people are already taking delivery <laughs> yeah that was the other thing there's been a lot of mixed reviews about who's getting their cars when because apparently there was a message sent out that the delivery embargo is the 14th and so after the super bowl ad oh but nobody was really, there's some dealers that are saying that they won't sell it until the 14th or like ship it. Wow. See if the bad boy functions. The leaf just plugged into the wall. Are these? How many guys does it take to? <laughs> Touchscreen works. Yeah, and so does the card reader. Feels a lot nicer. These stations just feel way nicer than the ones. 
You gotta be kidding me right now. Oh, this one's unavailable, under maintenance. Is that first one available? So this is a different kind of station. I mean, same Francis, but different uh, interface, I guess. This is a sketchy place to back into a station. You basically have to pull into oncoming traffic and then quickly back up. <laughs> plugged in. So we plugged it in. There we go. Does it say plug in? Every time I scan my card, it charges me $20. Now it says plug in to start. Oh, okay. I think it just always says that. Now it says slide card. I'm gonna have so many damn charges. <laughs> Pre approved charges. So it just does like a $20 hold? Yeah. Thank you. Plug in to start. Please remove card. It's just a, I think it's just pairing right now. Maybe that's what we did. I'll wait for EV response. That's what it said earlier, and then... It just says charging is completed. Okay, I'm gonna ask him to move it. So the leaf just moved. Now we're trying this charger. They said this one's faster, but it still would not start the charge. It would just air out every time. So... Maybe third time's a charm. We're gonna find out here. Okay, let's give it a few seconds. If it does the same crap, then. No, it says please Video journal update number 375. <laughs> we're, we're leaving this charging station because two of the chargers were down apparently. That's why they were cones. The good ones are down. Yeah, the yeah. good chargers were down with cones in front of them. Then the other two chargers would not function, and we also tried calling Francis Electric and couldn't get an answer, so... Drive to Durant. Drive to Durant, which we should be able to make it, but uh, it's not as ideal. Southeastern Oklahoma State University, apparently. And supposedly... There's a charger in somebody's house, is what it looks <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, it's like we're going into a neighborhood to find... This is the same as our last experience. Francis Charging. Our range is incredible It right was now. supposed to be 70... We drove, what, 78 miles here? Or 70 yeah. miles? 72 miles. And it was at 90. Yeah. So we used so our... 40 miles-ish. Yeah, we used 45 miles, I think, to go 70, 70 miles, miles. Yeah. based on the gasometer. So yeah, basically, warmer weather at 62 degrees, <laughs> we're doing great. <laughs> We've also been driving, actually, it's been driving like 70 to 75. Yeah, 72 so, most of this way. Yeah, so it's not like we've been driving slower. Some slowdowns where we were regenerating yeah. a little bit, but... Definitely better, and the, the car is saying 3.3 miles per kilowatt hour. Yeah. This morning we were at 2.1. Or... <laughs> so huge improvement with the warm weather. It looks like we are entering a downtown situation. This is, yeah, there's These like are the nicer screens. A couple ones. rundown buildings. These are nicer screens and no cones. I'm feeling good. Well, we kind of don't have many choices at this point. So. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's so freaking nice out. This grass is cool. The wildlife score on this station is very high. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh boy.
definitely a two-hand job. Swipe, please work. Just work. We need a break. Hey! And a touchscreen works. This is our first flawless experience. First flawless experience with Francis EV charging. There it goes, fires up. Let's see what speeds we're pulling here. Uh, what should be a warmer battery pack. Here at what, 22% state of charge? I think that's what it said. Hey, charging started. I love how the car tells you. How's the paint holding up? Or the tape, I guess. Uh, it's How's fine. The clear, the clear it's, bra? <laughs> it's uh, just kind of feel, pulling up a little bit in some areas, but overall not bad. Yep. Look at all these bugs you saved from. Yeah, I know. This is going to be easier to clean later. Of course, look at that. Look at that guy right there, right on the edge of where <laughs> I didn't put tape. Huh. Well, the good news is there's nothing here. <laughs> oh, another cat. Oh, yeah, the, the EV cat. We the cat the count for the today is two. That's good. So we just checked the app, and it turns out bees are actually only rated for 60. Every single one in this town. So this is pretty much expected. I mean, it's annoying that it won't even do 60. Limits it to 52. But, uh, yeah. Just not... Not the best charging situation in Durant, Oklahoma. Um, but hey, the station worked right away, so we thought it was gonna be faster because all every single other Francis one we looked at on the app were all 200, so we kind of assumed they would all be 200. So that is on us too for not double checking, but I don't know why they would install 60 watt ones here and then 200 everywhere else. Really don't understand that. So we're getting close to having enough range to get back to Ahmad's house. Um, he's actually gonna drop me off at my cousin's in Plano, but we are nearing the end of our thousand mile trek across the middle of the country. So it was actually, I think, visually my favorite, even though it's a rundown play. Oh, a third cat. <laughs> cat gang. <laughs> We've seen three cats today. Um, yeah, not my favorite as far as there's literally nothing to do, but I kind of like all the old buildings. I freaking yeah, love I'm this. I'm sure the old town area right here is probably cool, but I it's love, just Sunday. I love the grass or the bamboo, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, slow charger. It'll work in a pinch, but not, not a great charging situation. sleep the night before five hours last night yeah i'm all right i just uh i think we'll hit 1200 by the time we get to my house um 1089 right now 1200 and then uh i'm excited to just get it like in town yep i'm gonna try to get it fully charged tomorrow i know we're, we're trying to do some stuff tomorrow but i really am excited about driving this around town because so far it's just been drive right over the speed limit i mean right at the speed limit <laughs> um and uh it's been kind of eh, boring, but I'm excited to put it in sport mode and just hoon around town. So. Yeah. yeah, it's been comfortable, quiet, yeah. good ride. Really good road trip car if you have the infrastructure. So. Yeah, I think if we had been on a, like a, ma a major route, um, <clears throat> I mean, we're on a fairly major route, like from Missouri to Dallas, this is really... Well, it, it doesn't go through like Tulsa or Oklahoma yeah. City. This goes through. This is Highway 69, towns. so yeah. a bunch of smaller towns, which do have a few stops. I mean, there's like, this is a Tesla route too. There's Tesla superchargers, but um, not the best route so far for a CCS car. Um, but yeah. if we had done like the Tulsa, Oklahoma City down 35 to get into Denton and stuff, probably would have been better. Yeah, 100% much better. Yeah. That would have added mileage considerable mileage which would have added time for more stopping and it just didn't work for going to Plano at least we get a sunset I'll take I do miss these uh, Texas sunsets 
believe it or not. <laughs> I mean, I like Colorado sunsets. <laughs> yeah. It does end earlier because the mountains. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Gorgeous. Texas Sunset would be perfectly complete now. What it needs in oil, uh, you know, those oil rigs? Yeah, just oil rig in the down. background. Yeah. yeah, Texas Roadhouse right there. <laughs> Kyle's favorite dining Truth. establishment. <laughs> Is it? Oh, one of them. Oh, wow. Yeah, don't get him started. He'll <laughs> well, not. We found the custom sound settings for the, what do they call it? EV sound design or something? He loves it. <laughs> oh, this sounds like a sounds like a little bit of like an exhaust sound. That was interesting. <laughs> now I'm in love. Now I'm you, like, need man, off, you need a blow off. You need a blow off valve. Tune exhaust. It's all just going to be USB drive files for the future. <laughs> so now that we're no longer sort of on a road trip, we're basically in the city. Now you love this thing. Drive <laughs> on snow. Oh yeah, you can hold it for snow mode. Thank God that. Thank God I Texas, have that. yeah, right? <laughs> so, hey, yeah. you had snow last week, didn't you? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Compared to Colorado, nothing, but yeah. Shit. <laughs> Man, we've like hit the speed limit there, I think, just barely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank God we, we hit 75. <laughs> There's your ambient just lighting, like, nice touching. <laughs> yeah, I know. So it's we are 18 minutes away. So wrapping up. While we have a little bit more light out, I thought we would do some final final thoughts from what 20 plus hours, 1100 ish miles. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> um, I think. I think a road trip would be fun if you're not like just trying to get somewhere as fast as possible. If you take your time and you kind of know what to expect, I, I think it'd be fun. Yeah. Um, a little, still a little stressful, but I think if you have backup options and then maybe just stick to some major roads, I don't think the infrastructure is available for you to just go off under the boonies just yet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, we just kind of got near my house and we're now able to kind of put it in sport mode and. It is. It puts that grin on your face that you see everybody online doing. So it's it's fun. Yeah, it's I think cool. you'll enjoy it around town. But yeah, so again, to recap, it was your first electric vehicle road trip, my first CCS road trip. So it was interesting, like, especially with Francis Energy, not knowing exactly where they would be. Like with Tesla chargers, you know pretty much what to expect. Uh, so this was, yeah, learning curve. And they're not all 200 kilowatts, FYI, as we found out by the last one. Crawled along at 50 kilowatts, um, so. I think one of the biggest learnings I have is if you don't have the Tesla network, is get the app for the charger that you're at. And just be ready for it, because it's just way more of a hassle. With credit cards, there's holds for every transaction. So my credit card has like seven holds on it. <laughs> like three of them are 50, two of them are 20, so it's just, Keep that in mind. That's a big one that I did not. What he mentioned, this is my first EV experience ever. Like I've sat in a Tesla and been zero to 60 in it, but I've never been part of the infrastructure. So. Yeah, and it's one thing if you're just cruising along, got no agenda, no specific time to be there, just like we'll get there when we get there. That's when it's really fun. It's like exploring. You could be like, where can we strategize to go here and eat here? and versus when you're just trying to get home and then you get to a charger that just literally won't work. Yeah. That amplifies the frustration. Yeah, the little nuances, there's no trash cans basically at any of these sites. There's usually a bathroom, like at a Walmart or something, it's not the most 
nice spots that you're going to stop at so you can spend 80, 90, 20, 100, 20 thousand dollars on a car and you're spending your free time sitting in a Walmart. You know? <laughs> um, and then not always a bathroom, not always a lot to do in those areas. So just be ready for just stuff like that. Yeah. So, and not always a place to eat. Yeah. We learned. The amount of times we had to like walk almost half a mile to get to like a restaurant. But again, this is us taking a pretty un famous unpopular highway on 30 on, on like major highways i think it'll be better slush yeah but man am i excited ask me in three days how i feel because i think yeah. my, my tone will change <laughs> quite a bit so made it over a thousand miles almost 1200 yeah for you green bay to plano for me chicago to plano congrats on the car thank you and uh go check out out of spec reviews stay tuned on there because we're gonna do yeah range tests and charging tests see how this puppy does in texas yeah. with decent weather which by the looks of the end of this road trip the weather really affects range yeah 100%. so i'm excited to see what happens Thank everyone for joining. See you on the next one.